global textile congress 2015 can create a very positive interactive opportunity where textile fraternity can benefit together to enhance their cumulative strength and to share with us all the unique experience in store at the congress i now humbly request shri rkv's conference chairman to kindly address us all on the details and proceedings of the global textile congress 2015 his excellency mr chakkamon minister of industry government of kingdom of thailand and his excellency mr harshwardhan singla ambassador of india to thailand and honorable dignitaries on the dais and of the dais good morning all of you ladies and gentlemen global textile conference as mr arvind sinha has said in his address truly a global conference speakers from all over the world are going to speak on variety of su subjects like industrial textile medical textile legal matters personal matters and on foreign exchange also all the speakers are masters in their field and they are available throughout the conference as we all the delegates speakers are staying in this hotel itself so enjoy your networking knowledge sharing among all of you we are conducting a parallel session near this hall also where the future leader of textile industry around 26 research scholars we have selected are going to speak on their respective research which will be helpful for the future also friends this is a great opportunity for everybody present here and take advantage of such a large knowledge pool available to us on various subjects critical to textile industry although at present the textile industry is passing through slow mode but you know it will improve in due course already you have started seeing the sign of improving i sincerely thank my team and all the organizers for their inputs and wish you all the best enjoy your day along with the conference in the bangkok thank you thank you very much thank you your excellency thank you the global textile industry has evolved from being a domestic small scale industry to the status of supremacy it currently holds today modern techniques and innovations have led to a comparative low priced textile industry offering almost any type of cloth or design we desire and with these words we are now approaching the presentation by our eminent and dynamic mr d r mehta ji immediate past president textile association of india on the textile scenario your excellency shri chakmon Farmers, Minister of Industry and Government of Kingdom of Thailand, and His Excellency Sri Harshvardhan Singla, Ambassador of India to Thailand, and friends on the dais and off the dais. Good morning and swadi. In Thai people, I say swadi and good morning. As global textile industry in a slow down mode, and the fortune are fluctuating. as everyone knows it's a unpredictable industry most unpredictable and as unpredictable as your and my wife is the as unpredictable industry and however we have to realize after food industry textile is the second most important industry which is employing millions of people all over the world particularly in india and china probably it is the second largest industry employing millions of people as william park said do not wait to strike when the iron is hot but make the iron make the make it hot by by striking as william park said it that do not wait to strike the iron when it is hot but make, make it hot by striking till few years ago we have never imagined that textile industry has to survive without the support of american and european markets are there our backbones and consuming huge amount of textiles 
हाउ एवर एज यू सा द सफरिंग ऑफ यूएसए एंड यूरोपियन इकोनॉमिक्स वी हैज वी सा डिफरेंट रियलिटीज वी नेवर नो हाउ टू काउंट काउंटर दिस हाउ एवर वी सा न्यू मार्केट्स कमिंग अप विद सच ए ब्रिक्स रीजन मिडल ईस्ट एन इंक्रीज इन डिमांड ऑफ डोमेस्टिक मार्केट सच एज इंडिया एंड रशिया विच इज रियली ए चेंज ऑफ एक्विजिशन एंड टेक्साइल इंडस्ट्री सा गुड टाइम हो एवर डिमांड फ्रॉम न्यू एरियाज ऑफ टेक्साइल हैव स्टार्टेड कमिंग इन सच एज मेडिकल टेक्साइल्स डिफेंस टेक्साइल्स एटसेट्रा एटसेट्रा विच आर प्रोवाइडिंग ह्यूज पोटेंशियल्स आई एम रिमाइंडेड ऑफ वन फनी स्टोरी वेन ए कंसल्टेंट वॉज आस्क to look into the reason when a consultant was asked to look into the reason why the textile industry was not doing well he is starting by interviewing the employees the consultant asked as one of them what do you do consultant asked one of them what do you do the employees reply nothing he said nothing when you go in the textile industry you ask anybody you will say i do nothing then he asked the next employee what was he doing the reply again was nothing he again said nothing the consultant see the quality of the consultant the consultant therefore concluded that the reason for the textile industry not doing well was that two people were doing the same thing and therefore one of them was redundant so this is the reason the textile consultant find it out therefore textile industry going to do well and within the great sport of technology a new dimension will be created which full which will be very huge achievements as our prime minister says our honorable prime minister mr narendra modi he says as it is his wording as destiny is a not a matter of chance he says destiny is a not a matter of chance it is a matter of choice destiny is not a matter of chance it is a matter of choice it is not a thing to be waited for it is not a thing to be waited for it is a thing to be achieved so we have to achieve this and we have to achieve the success and thank you very much khob khon khat khob khon khat and thank you very much thank you so much mr mehta mahatma gandhi once said if i have the belief that i can do it i can surely acquire the capacity to do it even if i may not have it at the beginning and we are pleased to have amidst us today someone who has realized these words through her exemplary career which is flagged by many momentous milestones in public service starting from her days of being an ias in 1996 yes i am referring to none other but our distinguished dignitary miss mamta verma industries commissioner government of gujarat and i humbly request ms verma to say a few words good morning everyone first of all uh, i am very happy to be here and on respected honorable uh, minister of industries his excellency ambassador of india Mr Arvind Sena National President of Textile Association of India my colleague Mr Saru MD Index P dignitaries on the dais of the dais and all the members of textile association ladies and gentlemen we are also the partner state of this uh, conference so i at the outset i welcome all of you from uh, gujar side also and uh, i am very happy and honored to be part of this uh, uh, initiative uh, for the first time it has been held outside india and in a place which has very important and very dynamic relationship with uh, our state also and with india also thailand which is a very strategic location to become main distribution center of, of asean for textile and garments thailand is also having the largest uh, retail market in uh, southeast asia which may be one of the driving force for the growth of textile and garment in this region uh, in fact gujarat has a very long lasting relationship with uh, thailand in many sectors in the last many vibrant gujarat events there have been a very good participation from thailand in many sectors in fact recently uh, we uh, had vibrant gujarat 2015 summit where more than 110 countries participated 
there was a very big delegation from Thailand also, especially there was an event in gem and jewelry sector, Sparkle, where uh, there were, there was a, uh, Thailand was also a partner uh, country and a uh, very long lasting association was there. I would like to uh, continue from our side, we would like to continue this relationship in all the sectors and especially in textile industry where there are huge uh, potentials. So as we know that textile industry is one of the largest uh, uh, industry in India and India is also uh, has very good potentials and uh, Gujarat is, uh, uh, is the backbone of Gujarat industry is textile industry. We, uh, India is the second largest producer of cotton and yarn in the world and India is also emerging as the largest produ uh, consumer and producer of high value technical textile with wide range of application in industries. And with the vision of our Honorable Prime Minister, Mr. Nareen Modi, Make in India and its concept of uh, achieving global competitiveness and leadership, Indian textile industry is moving in its fast pace of growth with the concept of skill, scale and speed along with a continual approach of innovation. I am very thankful to the Textile Association of India for inviting Gujarat, a leading textile state in the country, as a partner state in organizing this Global Textile Congress. As you know, Gujarat is the lead largest producer of cotton, 35% in India. Gujarat Textile Policy 2012 has therefore transformed cotton industry as a leader of manufacturing yarn, fabric and garment with an integrated value addition approach on five Fs, farm, fiber, fabric, fashion and foreign uh, export. Similarly, over 40% man-made filament textile manufacturing is produced in Gujarat alone. So policy has therefore addressed to make the sector globally competitive by way of value addition, technology adoption and innovation. Uh, now the ready-made garment is one of the major driving force for the overall growth of Indian textile industry. And we in Gujarat are uh, extending a specific support on uh, uh, making more textile park and ready-made garment uh, uh, industry. In fact, recently we have announced our new industrial policy which uh, focuses uh, a lot on labor-intensive uh, 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 labor intensive industry and which has a very good incentive for uh, setting up ready-made garment units. We are also giving a lot of incentive for setting up uh, industrial textile parks and uh, integrated textile parks and also sector specific parks also. In fact, we all know that the trained manpower is the, uh, is the need of an hour for any country. So go government of Gujarat has extended a specific support of development of human resources through skill development program and a skill enhancement program where we make, uh, uh, where the industries are made partners in uh, training the youth manpower so that their employability increases and they become a very trained, uh, they become, become an asset to any industry. To conclude, and in my opinion, innovation with no new product, technology and generation of skill manpower will be the main driving force in the coming era. And I hope that this, all this thing will be dwelled in the coming, uh, in the, in the three day seminar which are going, in, which is uh, uh, going to be here. But uh, at the same time, there is also a need to have the strategic partnership with India and other Asian countries to tap this emerging potential in near future. I'm sure the international expert will address and deliberate all these aspects in the next three days and enlighten opportunities and growth of textile world. I, at the end, I again welcome all of you. And at the same time, I invite all of you to Gujarat. And sir, you specifically come to Gujarat feel the environment, explore the opportunity, and also join hands and experience the vibrant Gujarat. And uh, we can all join hands to grow and to make this industry, this textile, textile world, grow together as partners of development. Thank you, sir.